This content is for educational purposes only. What you do with this information is at your own risk. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I have an update for those of you that like to use SysTweak on your Switch. So I've updated SysTweak to support the latest Switch firmware, which is right now 19.0.1. It should also work for 19.0.0 as well. But for those of you that do not know what SysTweak is, it's pretty much a Sys module that allows you to change the images of your installed titles. So for example, I have Mario and Luigi Brothership here, and I changed the image of the title to this. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. We're going to go ahead and do a step by step together, and I'll be changing the image for reference on this title here. And if you want to follow along, you can try it out on whatever title that you have available. So with that being said, let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up the SD card and have it ready for file transfer. Now it doesn't matter how you really open up your SD card as long as you're able to transfer your files successfully. I highly recommend using the Hecate SD card tools. It is very reliable and never have any issues and you're able to access your SD card through USB to PC. So it's up to you, but just be careful. It's really important to transfer these files. Another thing with your SD card is you need to already have CFW already set up on your SD card. Preferably the latest version of Atmosphere and Hecate, Atmosphere 1.8.0, and I believe Hecate 6.2.2 at the time of this video. Now, if you're starting from a fresh SD card, I will have a link in the description to my video where you can get my pre made packs of Atmosphere 1.8.0 and Hecate, and you can get sorted out on your SD card. But if you already have it set up, as I said, preferably having the latest version of Atmosphere would have a lot more success. Okay, so now that we have the SD card already set up, we can now move on to downloading the files that we need for today. So if we look in the description down below, there's going to be several links. So let's start with the first one. It should say, click here to download SysTweak. Once you click on that link, it should take you to my GitHub page, which should look like this. Once you're here, you should be able to see the SysTweak 19.0.1, and then just scroll all the way down here or just navigate down here to this link to start downloading the SysTweak 19.0.1 zip file. Once you've downloaded the file, we can move it to the desktop like I have done already. All right, next we can go ahead and extract the files from the zip. And I'm gonna be using 7-zip in order to do this. I'm always using 7-zip on all my videos and never have any issues, so I definitely recommend it. And if you wanna follow along with me, I'll have a download link in the description to 7-zip as well. But with 7-zip, I'm gonna right click on my zip file and then locate the 7-zip tab, and then click on Open Archive. Once we have the archive open of SysTweak, we can see the files that we need in order for SysTweak to run. And we have Atmosphere folder here that has SysTweak inside of it. We have a config file that allows us to change the names of the titles that we want to change. And I also added a readme text file and that has all the steps that we're going to go through on this video. So at some point, if you feel confused, you can go ahead and reference this readme text file has the same steps from one through 10 that we're gonna go through right now. So feel free to look at that. Now this part's gonna be where it is the most complicated and I'll try my best to explain. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is extract the atmosphere folder to the root of the SD card. That's the beginning of your SD card without being inside any of the folders. Now another thing before you start extracting is you don't wanna accidentally put this inside any of the folders. You wanna put it on the empty space or the root of your SD card. So I'm going to scroll down here just to be safe and I'm going to highlight my atmosphere folder and then extract it to the root of the SD card. You most likely will not have this option because I already have it, but I mean, if you do just replace the files in the destination. Now that we have SysTweak on our SD card, let's go ahead and enter the atmosphere folder, then go into the contents folder and here. This is the most complicated part. All right, so now that we're inside the contents folder of Atmosphere, this part of the process is the most important part because inside this contents folder, this is where we're gonna add all of the images to the titles that we want to change. Now, in order to do this, we need to create separate folders for each individual title. So for example, I'm going to create a new folder inside contents. And once I create a new folder, 
I'm going to change it to the title ID of the specific game that I want to change the image of. So in this video, I'm going to use the example of Sonic Mania. Now I need to find the title ID of Sonic Mania. And there's only one good place that I know of. If you know a better place to find title IDs, that would be up to you. But if you need help finding title IDs, I usually go to the tinfoil website and there you can search the title that you're trying to change the image of and it will show you the, the title ID of that image. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so for some reason, the tinfoil site is down and even the backup site doesn't allow me to search any titles. I'll still leave a link in the description to tinfoil just in case it comes back. But I also have this backup option here for title IDs and if also in the description but once you click on the link and you're here at this page go ahead and type in control f and here we want to search for the specific title id or title name for the game that we want to change the image of so in this case on this video i'm going to be changing the image of sonic mania i'm going to type in here sonic mania and here is the title id now just be sure that you have your region. This one looks like it's for all regions, but some titles out there have just US and Europe and some are just Japan, things like that. Just be on the safe side, on the lookout on uh, the region for yourself. But with Sonic Mania, I'm going to highlight this title ID, right click and copy. Now I can go back into my SD card or we're inside the atmosphere contents locate the new folder that we created and now we're going to rename this the title id of the specific game that we want to change the image of so this is the title id for sonic mania and once we save this folder we can go back to the archive and now we're going to want to extract this config file to the specific game folder that we want to change the image of so highlight the config file that ini and extract it into the folder that we created of our game. Once we're in here, we can enter the game and we can enter this config file. Once it opens up here, we can change the name of the game. So uh, right now it's called Sonic Mania. You can still leave it as the original title, but you can leave it as Sonic or something like that. You can leave this default if you like, but changing the name is the most important part of this file. Once you change the name to whatever you feel like, you can go ahead and save the config file inside this folder, and then we're done with that. Now we need to go ahead and look for an image that we want to change the title to. So with that, this is a little bit more complicated. Okay, so before you start adding just any image that you want, in order for it to actually work, you need to have the image very specific. So this means that you need to have the size of the image at 256 by 256 pixels. The format needs to be at .jpg. And after you're done, you need to rename the image to icon. So it will be icon.jpg. And lastly, I don't know why, but for some people, the image quality is important. So when you render the image, it needs to be at 70 or 80%. I know that sounds confusing, but for some reason, if it's not done correctly, you'll have a gray box with a question mark on your switch home menu. Now, I do have a method that I haven't had any issues with, and you don't have to change any settings. You just resize your image and you're good to go. So I hope it works for you. But of course, if it doesn't, you can leave a comment down below and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. This method is also different from my readme. So you can also try the readme option as well. But let's go ahead and Try and do our first image. Okay, so now we can go ahead and start looking for any image that we want to change for our desired game. So in this case, for Sonic Mania, I have chosen this image here. And just to point something out that can help you out with this process is looking for images that have the same likeness of aspect ratio of 256 by 256. So even though this is a 1000 by 1000, this is the perfect image when we start using the editing tool that I'm gonna show you in a little bit. And all I have to do is just drag onto the 256 and it's gonna change the aspect ratio and fit perfectly. 
where if you end up downloading an image that is like a 1280 by 720, you're going to have the black bars on your 256 by 256, and you're going to have to stretch it to fit, and the image could look stretched and possibly not look good anymore. So if you know how to edit your images, you can use paint, you can use the editing tool that I'm going to be showing you right now, and you can change the aspect ratio, crop it out and see if you can fi uh, fix it like that before we get the end result. So let's go ahead and start with downloading the image that we want. This is the image that I chose and I'm going to save the image as. Since we're using Chrome, it doesn't matter. We're going to be using the download option in Chrome. And this is the online editing tool that I recommend because I have no issues at all when I'm making these images for SysTweak. It's even better than my uh, README option. And we're going to see how it works now. So once we're here in uh, Photopea, it's pretty much just Photoshop for free online. And what we want to do is click on New Project. And once we're in New Project, we're going to go to this option here for Pixels. Make sure it's on Pixels. And we're going to do 256 by 256 we don't need to change anything else just go ahead and make sure that the values are the same as mine and click on create so now we have this little square here for the 256 by 256 now we can just pretty much go to the downloads in chrome or wherever you have your downloaded image at and just drag onto the this website and there you go now it already automatically cropped my image 256 by 256 and that's pretty much it now once we're done with the image that we want we can go ahead and go to file and we're going to go to export as and we're going to do the uh, jpeg dot jpeg so go ahead and click on this option here and once we're here we're going to leave all the settings in default make sure that you have the same settings as i do and here I'm going to leave it as new project or just name it Sonic because we're going to rename it to icon a little bit. But if you have all of your images named as icon, it's going to overwrite when you start saving them. So I'm just going to name it as Sonic for now. And then click save. And now we have the image saved. We can go to the SD card. I'm going to go to my downloads. Here I have my Sonic folder. I'm going to go my downloads folder. I'm sorry. I'm going to just copy this to the title ID folder of the desired game that you want to change it. So this is my folder for Sonic Mania. Now I have the Sonic image here. All I need to do now is just change this, rename it to icon. So now it's icon.jpg and we are done. We can go ahead and test this out. So I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to do after I'm done testing this out. I'll go back on to the other images and show you what it looks like when you have the image that doesn't fit the aspect ratio. Let's go ahead and start with this. We are done here. We can eject out of the SD card and test it out. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so if everything went well, as in you were able to boot into Atmosphere with no issues and also boot into the Switch with no issues, then the images that you have changed for the specific titles that you wanted to change should now be changed. So in this case, we changed Sonic Mania to this image here, and it's working just fine. Even the title is changed to just Sonic. Now it just changes the image and the title. It doesn't affect the title in any way. You can enter it and play it just as normal. So just changing the images, and that's pretty much it. That is how I changed both of my images here. And just to show you that I am on the latest Switch firmware, which is right now 19.0.1 and the latest Atmosphere pre-release 1.80. So there you go. It's working for me. Like I said that website that, uh, I'll, that I just showed you, it is awesome. I haven't had any issues and I hope it works for you like it did for me. But of course, if it doesn't, Leave a comment down below and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. Um, other than that, that's it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, but I'm going to still show what it looks like when you don't have the similar aspect ratio at the end of this video. So with that being said, thank you for watching everyone. And as always, 
I'll see you in the next one. And if you're interested, you can continue watching. Okay, so I've downloaded this image here and it is completely way off from the aspect ratio. 1264 by 632. Definitely not going to fit. But let me show you what it looks like when it doesn't. So here, if you click on this little bar here, it allow you to edit your images that you add on this plane. You can blend, you can do whatever by right clicking. I'm just going to delete this so we can get it off the screen. And let's put in the image that I just downloaded. And this is what it looks like when you don't have the correct aspect ratio. Now, if you don't care about how it looks, you can hold down, I believe, control. And then you can stretch it out to make it fit. But then that's how it looks like. And like I said, if it doesn't bother you, then you'd have to, you can leave it like that. And there you go. It should work just like that. But it, since it does look stretched, you're going to have to fix this image. I don't know um, if we have to zoom in, maybe. <laughs> Something like this. And there you go. Then they, they, then it would be fixed like that. But um, just like, just wanted to show you real quick on what it looks like when you don't have the similar aspect ratio of 256 by 256.